And I think what I'm showing is that you're playing fast and loose with the facts here. I am saying that we don't know. We, we don't you know. Are Thank saying, you. You are saying that we do no. I'm saying that it is a reasonable explanation given fine-tuning to posit a fine-tuner. I asked you if you have a better explanation, so what is it? Well, it's a reasonable explanation to assume that a quantum state at that level had a pre-existing existence, that space and time did not come into existence at that. That's equally reasonable to assume. If you want to round it off to make a, a factual claim that there is a God, then why should I not also round it off? I'm not doing that. I'm saying that science works with these these probabilities and these hypotheses, and some of them will be wrong. All right, Thor, but then. Thor was wrong, and we discarded it. And the God of the Bible is wrong, in my opinion, and we will discard it. It's useless. It doesn't really explain because this immense complexity of the brain of this being out there who created this complexity, where did that come from? Did that, you know, if, if complexity requires a designer, if functional complexity needs to be designed, how do you account for the functional complexity of the mind of this designer that you are positing? You, you've dug a huge all hole right, well, here. Let me answer. Let me answer in two ways. First of all, one of the problems with the quantum is that when you go to the very microscopic level, matter behaves weirdly. And this is called quantum weirdness. And today people use it to explain virtually everything. So we have two theories. In, in, a, in a sense, we have the idea of a creator, or we have the quantum fluctuation. I mean, now imagine if we were, if we were just debating here, for example, whether OJ did it. We're discussing whether OJ did it. And I say, look, uh, there's blood evidence, there's handwriting evidence, there's motive. Uh, and I put all these things together. I say, therefore, it looks like this was planned and executed. Someone carried it out. And then you say, well, actually, I think it was the result of a quantum fluctuation. How plausible would that be when you've given us no idea how such an explanation would work? You're simply pointing ultimately to a theory in science and saying that did it when there are not even most scientists who would even agree with you. But let me answer your question. Basically what Dan is saying is, okay, maybe God did the universe. Maybe some complex mind created the world. But who created that complex mind? That's really his question and I'm going to answer it. I think that that question is irrelevant to our investigation. And I come back to an analogy I gave a little earlier about us searching for life on other planets. And let's say we are on the planet on Saturn or Jupiter, and we discover that there are all kinds of artifacts and monuments and books and so on. So we say, we conclude that there are intelligent beings on this planet. They must have done this. Now along comes Dan and goes, well, that's a ridiculous explanation. Who created those intelligent beings? And the answer is, who cares? I don't know who created the intelligent being. I'm simply trying to prove that the existence of intelligent artifacts and intelligent life shows that there must be intelligent beings who did this. 